I'll do a video. Um. I want to talk about fake people. I hate when someone calls you their friend or your, you know, like if people call me their friend, it kind of pisses me off because I'm like, do I really like, are you really a friend or are you just like somebody that's only there? when it's convenient for them. Um, I can honestly count on like maybe one hand, like true, true friends that I've had in my life. And those, meaning friends, like people that are there for you when you need them. Um, like beyond a best friend. I've had beyond a best friend. And that's people that when you're in trouble, they help you get out of trouble. Or when they're in trouble, you help them. And they really do appreciate it. Or, like, um, if somebody asks you for, like, to borrow money, it's not, like, a constant thing that they're doing. Um, you know, like, if you have it, they have it. Like, like if you need something, they have it. If they need something, you have it. But it's not going to be like a fucking constant thing. Like every fucking day or every fucking week. Um, uh, friends are people that... Like, if you're really, really, really sad... Or something's really, really, really wrong... They can see it. They can sense it. They can feel it. They know it. You don't even have to tell them half the time. Or... If you do have to tell them, they understand, you know, they're not going to put you down and be negative about it. Like, they're going to be there for you, unlike those fake-ass people that fucking leave you hanging and they only want you, like, they only want to be around when they fucking need something or when it benefits them, which sucks because there's a lot of people out there like that. And that's not fair because... <clears throat> It sucks when you're like a good person and you get taken advantage of. So, um, I've had some like real, real beyond best friends in my life, but not a lot. And these are people that, you know, I was very comfortable with. Um, I could tell anything to and they wouldn't judge me. Um, instead of bringing me down, they would lift me up. That's what a friend does. They, like, build you back up. Like, they know when you're having a bad day. Like, if you're a fake-ass friend, you're going to be that person that's going to be there when you know somebody's having a fucking horrible day. Or if they tell you they're having a horrible day, you're going to make their day worse by talking shit, by putting them down, by being negative and making negative remarks towards them. Like, they don't need that shit from you, especially. You a fake-ass friend. So, if you're doing that... You're not even a friend. Like, you go, like, need to go be by yourself and evaluate the situation and rethink why you even call yourself their friend because that's pretty fucked up. Like, you're supposed to be there for, like, your friend to, like, help them and nurture them back to life when they're, like, down, you know? Um, trusting them. Like, you would trust them with your life. Um, trust is a big... That's, like, a major thing. Trust. You... If you trust someone, it means you could trust them with, like, the most important things in your life. Like, your biggest secret or hold your money for you, which is, you know, that's, like, major. Because you don't want to have a thief stealing from you and shit. But there's been people that I was able to trust to hold shit for me, like money wise, valuables, um, stuff, you know, that only certain ones can do. And at this point, I honestly don't even think that I have that. Maybe a couple of people, but not a whole lot. 
so I think friends there's just so many people out there posing like just fake posers that just want to call themselves a friend or they see you doing well or they see you doing something or they want to be a part of something that you're doing um not knowing that you know you're not completely dumb like you can see through their bs and you know that they're fucking phony and it sucks because it's like you thought you had a friend and you don't because these people only want to talk to you when it benefits them or when they fucking have a problem like they just want you to be their ears and it sucks cuz it's like um i'm unavailable i don't have time for that cuz i know where you stand i know where i stand i know what this is and what it isn't so are you are you a fake friend or are you a real friend to someone mm, hopefully you're real i mean there's too many fake ass people out here posing to be something that they're not so i want to be that person that can be that friend to somebody like, I don't want to go and judge people, like, especially knowing that somebody had a hard-ass life. I'm not going to be that person to be negative and to go and judge that person. Because I, who am I to do that? I, I'm not the one to do that. I'm not going to go and say something to somebody and make them feel worse about themselves knowing that they have a problem or, like, bringing them down. Like, I want to be the person that is, like, there for somebody that, you could trust that um, you can rely on if I know that you're really sincere. Um, that's like more uplifting and positive. I don't like the negative bullshit. Like, I just can't deal with that. And like when somebody has a bad fucking attitude or they have in a bad mood or like they're being really negative, that shit affects people around you. And it's like, stop being that way. Because people can sense your energy. They can feel what you're feeling and what you're putting out there. Bad vibes. I hate it. Like, I I try to surround myself with positive people. I try to speak with everyone. I mean, I get in my down-ass moods too, you know. I'm only human like everybody else. I mean, I have good days and bad days. Some A lot of days, I don't fucking feel good. And... I still try to like smile and be nice and be polite and pleasant and speak to people. I try, you know, I try hard, but it's like sometimes I just don't feel good. But that ain't an excuse to just be a negative person. Um, I just feel like put put good out there, put good energy, good vibes, be positive, and then it'll all come back to you in a good and positive way. If you put negative out there and you're negative to people and you put negative vibes out there, that's what you're going to get back. So be a good friend, be a good person, uplift more people, compliment somebody, you know, be that person to compliment somebody. Be nice. Like, it's like, what's the point in being a fucking asshole, being a liar, um, being negative and just rude to other people? For no fucking reason at all. Like, life is too short to be that way. And there's too many people out there that are doing this shit. And there needs to be more positive people. Like me. And I'm trying my hardest to be more positive. I'm working on it. I try to, like, be more thankful for what I have. And that's that's one way to be positive. So, just be thankful for what you have. Don't, like, worry about what other people have and, like, what they're doing. Focus on yourself and all good shall come. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.